of the artists from the Hong Kong show Star Fairy. And this is um, one part of a three-piece work called I Love You More Than My Own Death. And the title, the title of the show actually came from uh, an exhibition um, in the Venice Bien- at the Venice Biennale in 1993 um, um, by Christian Lee, an American curator. And um, the reason I picked that is, um, well, or rather, so like it's the interesting part is that it's actually um, um, Christian Lee, actually the curator, disappeared after the opening of the show and, <laughs> and never reappeared again. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's, so this is like a, a pun on the Venice Biennale as well. But this on a more serious note, now. Um, so this is actually one part of the work, and the whole work is actually based around the idea of trickery, magic, conjuring. And um, so I'm sort of using um, lenticular photography, and you see, you see that actually the images actually shift as you move around, and you see sort of like layers of images behind it. So, um, and I've kind of, kind of combined um, um, images from the Cultural Revolution from the period of China, uh, and as you see sort of behind that, it's actually an image of um, Madame Mao. Uh, in 1976, before on the night uh, of her arrest, the gang of four was arrested, and she was picking, she was posing for photographers uh, in a park, picking from an apple tree, and um, and um, the and as you see, the fruit at the front is actually a pomegranate, and the pomegranate has actually got a Chinese a common name, the Chinese apple. So it's got a lots of different layers of references between them, and behind me is actually um, a coin. Um, so, because it's kind of all magic tricks, so it's like kind of an abstract versions of of a ring and a coin, and it's actually the silhouette of a magician called Chen Ling So from a hundred years ago, and um, he's actually uh, he was very famous, um, but he's actually not Chinese. He's actually a, a Scottish New Yorker, so he pretended to be Chinese for like twenty years before he was killed by one of his own tricks. So, uh, so it's actually a kind of a um, Many layers of references to do with um, um, to do with mythology, to do with Chinese folklore, to do with um, social history, you know, to do with the Cultural Revolution. Um, so it's that kind of a uh, I call this my my Nashville work. You can see in the Robert Altman film from the 70s, where kind of like characters and references they all collide and come together. Sorry. It's actually, uh, it's actually five layers of images. Uh, uh, it's a photographic image. It's been layered on top of each other. And you're looking through it through very, very thin strips of plastic lens. So, and it kind of reflects the light in different ways. So as you move, shift, you know, walk in front of it, across it, you know, like you see different layers of the image. It blocks off other layers. You see different layers of the image. And uh, that's how you see, you know, the whole pomegranate and, and then the half pomegranate and then the image. So, uh, so it's, um, it's, um, so it's actually quite a, it's quite a very, very old technology. It's uh, relatively low tech, but it's actually quite very fascinating. So, uh, you know, um, this, like, this is uh, one version of it. Another version is actually like a sort of a 3D photography, stereograph photography, and uh, which I've also used as well. So, so it's actually quite a.